Hello everyone and welcome back to another a Masi chess game of Paul Morphy uh, against the first Cuban chess champion Felix Sigre and this was from a blindfolded chess simul a three board blindfolded chess simul, simul from 1864 in Havana, Cuba Let's see what happened in this chess game This is also a pretty notable and then interactive chess game by Paul Morphy So Paul Morphy who starts the game, uh, who has the white pieces he starts the game with pushing the e pawn e4. We have e5, and this is the Philidor defense d6, d4. E takes on d4, and then developing the bishop. And Morphy is playing a gambit, and Black is not accepting. White castled. D takes on c3, and Morphy is developing the queen with attacking the f pawn, defending with the queen, and then developing the knight, capturing on c3. The first six moves of Felix Sikre was pawn moves. So he's pushing the pawn again, so making a lot of pawn moves, which is actually against the general principles of chess, developing the bishop and bishop to g7, lining the rook with the queen and black captured the knight. This move is a move with no purpose. Queen takes on c3, attacking the rook and black is defending the rook. And in this position, uh, if f6, what happens then? This is also losing actually for black. What would you do in this position if you had the white pieces? Uh, then bishop takes knight and after rook takes on g8, queen takes on f6. And this is losing. Actually, this is very good for white. Uh, this is a pleasant position. So in this position, after queen takes on c3, Paul Morphy is attacking the rook. So defending the rook, rook to h7. And what would you do in this position? Can you see the idea of Paul Morphy? Can you see uh, how actually white can exploit black's weak moves? Uh, Morphy is again following the general principle of chess. He is pushing the e-pawn. Uh, when your opponent's king haven't castled, uh, pushing the e or the d pawn is usually a logical idea. So we have knight to d7. And now can you see the next move of Paul Morphy? Please note that in this position, if black pushes the d pawn, then bishop takes on d5. And the c pawn is pinned. So knight to d7. And now can you see the next move of Paul Morphy? What would you do? Uh, did you see the idea why Morphy pushed the uh, e-pawn? This was the idea. Bishop to d3, attacking the rook, and where is the rook going? Black is not defending the rook, and black is going back with the knight. In this position, if defending the rook, if rook to g7, or if rook to h8, it doesn't matter. Now can you see the idea? It is e takes on d6, attacking the queen, and that's a discover attack to the rook after defending the queen, capturing the rook, and this is losing for black. This is also attacking the knight, so this is why in this position, Morphy is pushing the e-pawn. This is what Morphy saw in his mind's eye. And then knight to d7 and bishop to d3. And placing the bishop in the deadly diagonal, knight goes back, not even defending the rook, and Morphy captured the pawn first, queen goes back. If capturing the pawn with the queen, then maybe bishop to c5 is a very, very strong move. Or even rook to e1. So defending the queen and then lining the rook with the king. And in this position, maybe white is threatening to play bishop takes on g5, check and also winning the queen. So blocking bishop to e6 and then knight in, knight up. And finally, in this position, maybe black is planning to hide the rook, rook to g7 or rook to h8. Maybe rook to g7 is on the card, so this is why Paul Morphy ends the torture. Bishop takes on h7, knight takes bishop, and then bishop to c5. Maybe in this position, Paul Morphy is threatening to push the pawn. And you can see that black is suffering because of a lack of development, because of having a crumpy position. The king is in the center. And this is actually not looking very good for black. Knight goes back. Knight back. Pawn up. Queen in. Defending the knight. 
and Bishop back and actually Black didn't like this position and Black decided to resign. So Felix Sikre was the first Cuban chess champion but he played maybe even worse than a B-class chess player. It was a poor play by Felix Sikre but thanks to his mistakes, thanks to his blunders and inaccurate play especially in the opening we are going to learn from them. Uh, so let me show you the possible continuation. Actually it is pretty obvious. White has the rook, uh, white has the exchange and black has a terrible position. The king is in the center. So let's play a random move. If c5 then knight takes on h6 not defending the bishop because if capturing the bishop what would you do in this position if you had the white pieces? Then queen takes on f7 check mate. The bishop is pinned. So a pretty pretty instructive chess game by Paul Morphy against an amateur. So thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time with more instructive chess games from the history of chess. So take care, stay safe and bye bye.